Hey people, what's going on? It's Jamil, and I just want to talk about how the gang stalking program has benefited my life 110% no matter what. Before I got into gang, before I had entered, I had the gang stalking thing put on me, I didn't know my why. And there's a big, you know, there's a long story about how I, I became somebody who got gang stalked. And it's been going on for a year, and I consider myself the only person in the world to beat it because it's improved my life 110% no matter what. <sighs> Like I was saying, when I used to wake up before, I didn't have a why. You understand? Like when you wake up and you and you go and do something, even if you go to school, if you go to work, if you go to church, a lot of people don't have a why. They don't know why they do it. They just know they get up and go. When I was doing my conspiracy research, I kept questioning the whys, the whys. <clears throat> After getting involved with everything I did, went up against the most powerful people in the world. Beat a life-death thing, got the gang stalking program, beat that. Now, I'm into my why. Why do I wake up? Why do I do the stuff I do? What, you know what occurred to me today? I'm, I, was at, I was at an intersection. I was at an intersection by my house, right? And the, the, part of the gang stalking program is to agitate you and try to keep you disconnected so you're not really able to go out and do what you normally do. If you, if you were like one of those save the rainforest type people and you angered some corporations and you got gang stalked, Getting gang stuck would keep would keep you keep you in a situation where you wouldn't be good at doing what you did anymore, and you'd probably give it up, right? <clears throat> for me, I benefited from the gang stalking thing. Everything that was tough for me before, like before, I didn't know why. I didn't even know why I talked to women. Most of the time, like you know, I'm attracted to certain types of women. Most of the time, I didn't know why I talked to women. Today, I'm at an intersection, right? Now, it could have been it could have been a gang stalking thing or not. It could have just been coincidence. I kept talking about how the gang stalking people started using females that were super attractive models. Now, when I say models, I'm serious. These girls are fine. I, <laughs> I'm serious. Listen, I was at the intersection, and they put out a chick. She was bad, man. She had sunglasses, long blonde hair. Her body, she looked like an Olympic gold medal winner. I mean, she was just like, she looked more like an athlete than like a Victoria's Secret type of deal, but she could have did either, you know? But... I was just like, I was just like, yeah, man, yeah. And all day long, you know, I was outside, I got a jump rope, like, I like using the jump rope, right? And so it's just like, right now, I'm just like, kind of, like, flustered from all, from all the exercise. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it, like, uh, I'm trying to give you, like, a real clear example of what happened. I walk up to her, and she walks by me, and I just offer the jump rope, like, hey, you want a jump rope? And, you know, she smiles and stuff, and she keeps on going. Now, I realized something. That was the first time in my life that I knew why I was approaching a female. Before, it's just like a sexual thing, but I saw something. I could tell by her physique, her athletic ability. I could just tell by her, her, her charisma and her energy that she's somebody who is not going to... She, she, she's a go-getter. She's a winner, right? And so, if, you know, like I said before... I got tons of ability to help people out there who are going through the gang stalking. I can help you beat it 100% no matter what. In order to increase that ability that I have, I want to place myself around people who are extremely successful at what they do. Now, she looks college educated. <clears throat> you know, she, she's into the whole athletic thing. Man, I wish I could just talk to her. I would have been like, you know, I would have been explaining to her. I would be like, yeah, you know why, you know why, why, why the guys in college, the frat guys, are out cleaning cars at 3 in the morning because they're frat brothers are making them do it. I was a person inside, you know, reading books, uh, learning about stuff, <laughs> learning about the people who ran 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 the frat house we're doing, you know? And then spark something, you know, there's a way you say stuff. Spark it up like that. And so I, I envision, you know, if, if I want to be successful and, and do what I do and help people who are going through the gang stalking stuff, I got to have those people around me who are successful at what they do. And so that's what I learned. That was my why. You know, the other day, it was just like, damn, she's fine. You know, let me wave at her. Now, it's more like, I'm talking to her, and I know why I'm talking to her. No matter what. No matter what, I know why I'm talking to her. I can tell by looking at her that she probably won, she probably has 100 gold medals in her room somewhere. So, the gang stalking program has has changed my morality. It's, it's changed my values. It's changed my attraction. The way the before it was just like mainly like you know I was before it was mainly like uh, I don't know I didn't know why I didn't know why I was attracted now now I know now I know why you know some other chick I know you know she she she, she smokes weed a little bit and stuff 
you know, she she's pretty attractive, but she gets she gets high and stuff like that. Um, a chick I met her in Phoenix, and uh, she had been she kept saying she was gonna end up coming to Michigan because she has family here, and she wanted to come here and meet me. And she just you know she I think chick just she's just different, and so I learned today my why. My why? I can't afford to be around somebody. You know, if somebody smokes weed a little bit. That's cool. Like I got a. There's a girl I talk to, and she smokes weed. She she's real cool. But uh, if somebody's out there and they got a lot of drug habits, or they're drinking alcohol all the time, or they don't know who they are or where they are, <clears throat> it, I, I can't afford. I can't afford to interact. I want to be around somebody who, who's like 110 percent there, right? And so I learned my why. My why. And then I keep beating on my craft. I keep beating on what am I? Why am I waking up? Why am I doing this? I'm the only person in the world that ever beat gang stalking. My goal is to go out and motivate people who are going through it. There's tons of people out there going through it. It's like a worldwide phenomenon now. That's how governments deal with people is they just put the gang stalking program on it. <laughs> and for people who, a lot of people don't get it. See, it's funny because I'm not somebody on the internet who just talks about conspiracies. I lived it. I, I, I've, I've gone up against... You know, I've gone up against these people. I've, I've gone. I have a relationship with Skull and Bones in real life. I have a relationship with these groups. They know who I am. I know who they are. And I've gone up against these entities. You know, and, and so it's not. A, it's not a thing where it's just like, oh, I read some book and made a YouTube video, and you don't make sense of what you say. You know, it's like if you went through what I went through and lived the life I lived, you would know exactly what I was talking about when I said gang stalking. <laughs> and there's different levels to it. They will actually put a helicopter in the sky, an airplane, anything to agitate you. And I'm one of the few people who've done everything I've done and still are walking around. There's not many people like me out there. Very few. I'm like a needle in a haystack and I know it and they know it. <clears throat> and so my life right now is just 110% to help people. People who are going through the gang stock and stuff. People who, and you know, the stuff, it's so funny, man. Because when the gang stalking stuff first happened last year, I, I was kind of like agitated by by like small stuff, and now it's just like chump change. The, the stuff, the stuff that they try to, the stuff that they try to use to agitate me is like chump change. It's just like, man, get out of here, you know. And so, it, I mean, it's just incredible. The gang stalking thing has literally helped my life 110 percent, no matter what. And I'm just telling people, man, it's it's your why. If you're going through gang stalking, or you're just a normal person walking the streets. You gotta have a why. When you wake up in the morning, you gotta be motivated. You gotta know why you're doing something, where you're going, who you're gonna spend your time with. You know, I'm the type of person I don't like people around me who who are like uh, it, I don't I don't allow just anybody around me. If you see me walking with somebody and talking to them, you know, if I if I talk to you before, I'll talk to you a little bit. But if you see somebody around me every day, that means that there's something real big about that person. I'm not gonna just be around just anybody. You know, I don't do that. You know, I don't let people, you know, we can talk a little bit, but don't, you know, as, as far as like, uh, you see me walking with somebody somewhere or something like that, you don't see me walk, you see me walk, I don't, you don't see me walking with anybody. I deal with the most powerful people on the planet. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> you know, I, I, de I de the most powerful people on the planet know who I am. And I, and you know, so I, I have to be around people who are extremely successful. You know, if I have a chick walking down the street with me, she has to be 110% there, you know, 24-7. I mean, she has to have that drive. There has to be something, and that's the why. That's the why that I learned. And so that's before, and it's just amazing, you know what I'm saying? Before, a few days ago, I was like, damn, she's fine. And then today, it's just like, oh, my God. I, I, it hit me. It's the why. That's why, that's why, that's why you're so attracted to these model chicks. It's, it's, not, so, it's not just because they look fine as hell. <clears throat> look at what they're doing. Look at her. Look at her. Look how successful she. You can just tell, but you can just when she walks down the street, you can just look at her and tell she's super successful. Whatever, whoever she is, and so that's the why. See what I'm saying? There's a difference. A lot. There's 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 people all over America who get up and don't know what they're doing. Why they go to work? They don't know why they go to school. The most they can tell you is to pay a bill. They they don't. There's nothing else there. And so, you know, that's why I learned today in my experience is the why. You know what I mean? Like, why am I out here doing this? You know what I mean? Why am I? Why am I out here? Why am I out here jump roping and not drinking a beer? I have to be in my right mind 365 days of the week. 
I can't afford to be drunk. I can't afford to be in my mother's yard drinking a beer. I have to be in my right frame of mind. I, somebody might call me. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, somebody might say, hey, listen, I saw you on there talking about the gang stock and stuff. I got a situation. I, I need some real help. See what I'm saying? What am, I, I can't be on the phone drunk. I put myself up on the platform so I'm the only person in the world that beat gang stock. And now somebody's going to call and say, I want to beat it. I can't be drunk. So that's out of the picture. I can't afford to be drunk. I can't afford to have, I can't afford to have people... You know, I can't afford to have, you know, if I got somebody with me and I show up and and, and, and if I show up to talk to somebody and, and the chick's looking all scared and confused and it's the chick with me and I got a chick with me, she's looking all scared and confused. I can't afford. They got to be able to see, like, you know what I mean? Like, look, man, she, you know, she she's over there, you know, got medals and running track and all that stuff. You know, she, she she's going to help. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I, I got to be around a, a, a circle of success. And so that, that's why I've been learning about the gang. That gang stalking thing helped me do that. I wasn't doing it before. Before, before the gang stalking thing happened, I wasn't doing. I didn't care about, you know who, you know. I was just like whatever, man. Since the gang stalking thing ha has given me a formula to make success out of anything. To make success out of anything. And so you know. That's just that's just what it is. And so, for people who don't know what gang stalking is, go on the, go on Google and just type in "targeted individual" or "gang stalking," and it's fun. I mean, a lot of people are on Google and they're miserable. They say like three or four cars like rode by their house and they're all paranoid about it. I mean, you know, like literally, I I, I think it's great to be honest with you. You know, I I don't see. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one thinking that or what, but you know, I, to to me. It's given me everything that I didn't have before. And so, you know, it's like now I got a why. You see what I'm saying? Now, now I'm comparing people. Now I'm comparing people. I, I see like earlier today, I, earlier today, I'm at the store and I see some chick and I look at her. And I can just tell she didn't have that winner mentality. I can't afford to be with her. If I'm around her, I'm going to be around people who think like her. See what I'm saying? I, I got I got to be around people, you know what I mean? I got to be around people who are just going to get it, no matter what, 110%, no matter what. And so that's the only people, you know, it's just like, that's, and that's my why. Before, it was like, damn, she had a fat ass, or damn, you know, she had a pretty smile. You know, I want to get laid. Now I'm, now I'm looking at her thinking like, you know what I mean? Like, man, she, you know, she, she looks like she got, like, the winning spirit. You know, there's a good possibility me and her are going to be able to co-create a city. You know, I will not allow us to not be able to make something happen. You know what I mean? And so, you know, that that's that's the why. But if I don't see that, if I don't see that, like, I'm a real good judge of character, man. I look at somebody, I can tell within three or four seconds what they're about. And so, before I had that, but I wasn't expressing it. You know, and just now, man, I just walk in a room. When I walk in a room, you know, I, I start, I look at people and I can just tell there's nothing going on in here. There's not there's nothing going on in here but 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 you know pe people people want approval. I don't I never I never looked for that. You know what I'm saying? I went up against the people the people that I went up against in my lifetime, you can't go to the FBI. You can't go to the police. You can't go get a shotgun and hang out in some cabin in the woods and, and think you're gonna be safe. That's that's your that's a life death thing. See what I'm saying? I c I'm I'm from that real stuff. I'm not from that punk stuff. You know, pe people don't know, people don't know what type of pressure I've had to be under. People don't, people don't have that. And so for the people that don't have it, I can't be around them. They don't have, they don't have the fight that I have. I need to be around people who have fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I see this chick, <clears throat> I can tell she, you know, she looks like she could be an Olympus. I say, she has fight in her. I have to, that's who I want to, you know, you know, I, I don't have any children. If I have a child, I have to have a child by somebody who has a lot of fight. I can't. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? I can't sell, you know? And so my my whole why has changed. 100, 110%. And so it's just like, and it all came out of conspiracy research. For some people, it comes out of like sports. You know, they get it like that. Um, you know, they people get it, you know, going going to the military and stuff like that. But 
for me it was different. My 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 um thing came out of the conspiracy stuff. And so just completely the gang stalking thing is cool, man. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. It's changed my life for the best.